Hi, you've clicked on to today's tropical tidbit for Thursday, July 3rd. The thoughts expressed in this video are mine alone, and in making decisions, please always consult the National Hurricane Center and National Weather Service, not me. Well, this is just a quick afternoon update on the progress of now Hurricane Arthur, which made a, a fair bit of progress strengthening last night. This is the radar presentation out of Wilmington. You can see clearly the eye here moving on its way now towards the north-northeast and uh, going to encounter the North Carolina coast perhaps even within 12 hours now and so we're basically done with the forecasting phase of this storm and we are basically now now casting uh, which means just observing trends in the storm and extrapolating those out for a few hours and uh, so clearly the motion is going to take it very close to the outer banks and a lot of models are now right over the outer banks into this area here and that is where the general motion of the storm appears to be taking it is right into this area perhaps a landfall even by Moorhead City here and then on into Pamlico Sound uh, that seems to be the most likely track right now the official track is still just over Cape Hatteras um, the difference of a couple dozen miles here or there will make the difference for storm surge and hurricane force winds for many in this area uh, but right now it basically just comes down to watching the radar loop like this and seeing where the storm is headed but hopefully people living in here that were under mandatory evacuations have left already as that this is starting to race on its way northeast here ahead of the long wave trough that is steering it that direction and uh, this will be ashore and then out of here pretty quick in fact tomorrow is expected to be a pretty nice day after we get through the morning when this hurricane clears out the conditions behind it will be rather nice for the rest of the fourth of july weekend um, but this is going to be a nasty storm for this area there is still some dry air coming into the core of arthur here you can kind of see it wrapping around on the last frame of the loop uh, kind of eroding the western eye wall here and in fact if we look at the recon data the last couple of passes uh, the red line on the top panel here this one right here is uh, the extrapolated sea level pressure measurements from the aircraft and you can see that whenever it dips down like this that's when it passed through the eye and uh, measured those low readings and you notice the one pass here down at about 979 and this pass here down at about 980. Uh, the second pass was actually slightly higher than the first pass indicating that Arthur's pressure has leveled off if not slightly increasing for the moment but it's essentially steady and that means that this dry air that's getting into the core is having an effect of slowing down Arthur's progress and you can see that pretty well in the visible imagery here you can see the eye here still trying to clear out but a lot of clouds and debris left over but you can clearly see the dry slot coming right into the core here so what's left of this dry air it's been becoming less of a problem since yesterday but it's still in the circulation and until that gets fully mixed out it is preventing Arthur from rapidly intensifying it has been deepening um, without stopping for very long um, although it is steady for the last couple of hours it has been strengthening fairly uh, consistently for the last 48 hours and hasn't stopped but it has been limited in the rate of intensification because of this dry air and North Carolina probably has this dry air to thank for Arthur not being even stronger than he is right now um, but given trends from the recon winds this morning this is the map of what they're finding. Everything in pink here is above hurricane force at flight level, and a lot of this is also hurricane force at the surface, but you notice the strong side of the storm is still the east and northeast and southeast quadrants here. The northwest side, uh, much lighter by comparison, and the winds on the coast right now are not even gusting above tropical storm force yet. Uh, that will happen as the center comes close enough to the coast here that even some of these winds on the eastern side may clip the outer banks and they may get the worst side of the storm for a couple of hours there. The National Hurricane Center um, up to the winds of Arthur to 90 miles per hour based on the recent recon data and they now have Arthur attaining category two intensity before landfall, which we talked about yesterday was a possibility given the favorable environment that the storm has minus the dry air that's still left over. Um, but you can clearly see the presentation of the storm has improved much more symmetric. The cirrus cloud shield is much more circular with a common radius about the eye. And you can now see cirrus clouds expanding on the northwest side, which we did not have yesterday as that new outflow channel develops on that side with the already existing great outflow to the southeast and some to the south west as well. So except for this dry air still punching in from the south uh, southeast of the eye, uh, this storm still has favorable conditions to intensify over the next 12 to 18 hours, by which time it will be 
uh, likely over the Outer Banks of North Carolina uh, late tonight and very, very early tomorrow morning, and then will race on its way northeast and then out to sea on its way towards Maritime Canada, where it will also likely spoil the weekend for folks there with tropical storm-like conditions over a large area as the wind field expands as Arthur undergoes extra tropical transition as it nears Canada. So that will be a bad storm for them as well. But uh, immediate impacts are North Carolina, hurricane warnings out, hurricane force winds likely to affect the outer, outer banks of North Carolina, centered around Cape Hatteras, and even some of these um, inlets to the west here may get hurricane conditions if Arthur passes close enough to the west, which it very well may based on current trends. So we will just uh, keep an eye on it here. Again, probably about 12 hours from it making a landfall here or 18 hours if it's more closer to Cape Hatteras. Either way, very soon uh, Arthur will be ashore and then out of here and the rest of the weekend will likely be uh, much nicer for the Carolinas and hopefully not too much destruction is left behind. Uh, but this is the storm surge map from the NHC showing that uh, three feet of water in the blue colors here and three to six feet of water in the yellow um, are possible in these areas and that can easily flood some of these areas of North Carolina as uh, these are shallow inlets and islands. So please be careful, stay safe, pay attention to the Hurricane Center and your National Weather Service bulletins as they will give you the most pertinent information on Arthur and uh, stay safe. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.